What's up guys, Sahaman so back with another NECA Aliens figure review. This is the last one of the three that just came out and I did pick these up from Nora from Best in Collectibles. Oh, if you guys are local, you guys can go over there and uh, hit her up, let her know that I sent you. Otherwise, you can go to BigBadToyStore.com, click in the link in the description. So as you guys know, this latest series is pretty much like a homage to the old Kenner ones. Um, you have the artwork right here of the Mantis, which is awesome. I did own this one as a kid. You got the Dark Horse comic. Uh, the Aliens clamshell packaging, similar to all the other, you know, packaging from the other two. Right here on the back are future figures that are going to be released and some that are already released. And then there's a little bit of a read-up right here. If you want to read that, feel free and pause. That's enough of the packaging. Let's open this up and take the Mantis out. So what you get in this uh, figure pack here is a bunch of twisty ties. How cool is that? You get tons of twisty ties. So you get a Dark Horse comic right here on the Praying Mantis, which is awesome. I love the artwork on here. And uh, we'll just skim through it really quick so you guys can get a look at the little mini comics. I hope NECA does a lot of these. Like, it'll be cool how many, uh, if they got like comics with every figure. That'd be awesome. So you get the, you know, the Praying Mantis or the Mantis Alien uh, comic. You also get a little face hugger which is cool. It does have a bendy wire. Now, if I remember correctly, wasn't this guy supposed to come with a, I, did I say face hugger? A chest burster, I'm sorry. Um, I think, wasn't he supposed to come originally with a face hugger? I, I could be wrong. I thought I saw that in like the promotional images, but it's pretty cool. You can see his little hands right there. Almost looks like a T-Rex. How dope is that? Look at that. Nice detailing. It's all green and black. I'm telling you, every time I see a, a chest burster, I think of um, uh, space, uh, what is it, space balls. Remember when he pops out of the, uh, the restaurant? And then he's singing that Hello My Darling song. Hello my baby, hello my honey, hello my rag. But here we have the Mantis Alien. Now this one here, right off the bat, this is my favorite one from the set. I originally thought it was going to be the Gorilla one, but this one's it. Not just because it's translucent and I'm a sucker for translucent figures. The uh, look on him is just awesome. I mean, look at the detailing. Look at the front. I mean, it does have the resemblance of a Mantis, obviously, because it is a Mantis. He's got the inner jaw right here, which comes out. If we can... Alright, so I'm having trouble taking the inner jaw out. It does want to come out, but it's very, very like jammed in there. And it is translucent too, which is really cool. I like the teeth, how they're like a different color. And he's got like this like silverish paint to him on the top of the head, which is dope. I love it. Look at this. Just look at the sculpting on him. Very nice. And he's got all these like different, you know, extra little parts to him compared to like the other xenomorphs. And I love the arms. I love how the arms are, you know, the way they're shaped just like a mantis. And you can see the, the hand right here. How dope is that? And he's got these little spikes on there. Very cool. Look at this. And he's got one right over here, one over here. So just totally shaped differently. He still looks like he shares some of the, uh, the same mold of other, you know, aliens, xenomorphs. Look at the tail. Look at this. Let's move the legs to the side. Look at this tail. Look at that. He has a huge spike right there. Very cool. Look at this. Totally looks like a bug. Very, very nice. I love this. And you have the bottom of the feet and they do have peg holes. And he's got his little claws or nails right there. See a close up on that? Very nice. I love the positioning on him. So it's it's a great looking figure. I don't want to mess with the art, um, position that I have him in because I'm definitely going to keep him in this pose. But we'll go over the articulation really quick. So the head can rotate, goes up and down. You can you know kind of tilt it side to side. Um, the arms do go in and out, forward and back. They go, yeah, in and out, forward and back. He has a rotation right here at the elbow. He also got a, a bend right there, so you can bend it. Um, as far as the lower arm goes, he's got a bend here, and it also rotates. And the hand also has a joint right here, and it rotates too. As far as like the claw goes, this opens and closes too. So he's got some pretty good articulation. I don't think anything else moves there. Uh, he's got waist rotation. And then a little bit of an ab crunch. The legs do go in and out, forward and back. You can bend the knee, it's double jointed. You can do that right there. You can also rotate the upper leg. The lower leg kind of rotates. Um, right here, he's got a bend as well and rotation. And the foot can go up and down. You can rotate it and you know tilt it. So it's a pretty good articulated figure. Probably the best one from this there set. You guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new NECA Aliens Mantis Alien. This is the, my favorite one from the set. Very, very cool. The best one. Uh, second, I would probably have to give it to the Gorilla Alien. He would have been my favorite one, but 
Uh, there's little things I didn't like about it, but it's still a great piece. And then you have the queen face huggers right here. So this is a actual solid set. This Mantis figure is awesome. I love this one a lot. Um, you guys let me know in the comments below if you're going to pick them up. If not, you're going to pass them. Which one is yours? Is your favorite one? You guys let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you guys later. Peace.